come back on. Can I get your own problems again? Yeah, we thought we had that figured out, but uh, it's coming and going. Well, stay here. <laughs> I told it. Hey, I noticed that you left these up here. Um, you've got some marbles here. Yes, 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 aren't they pretty? They are. There's orange ones and, and green ones, just a few green ones. Well, you see what happened was I had bought some marbles because I liked how pretty they were. And the other Jim here, he wanted to teach me how to play marbles. I didn't know it was a game. Yeah, yeah, it's a game, sure enough. See the big marble there? That's called the shooter. Yeah. And you can put a circle on the ground. You can do it with chalk or string, or you can just draw in the dirt if you want. And you dump some other marbles in there, and you take the shooter, and you shoot it in there, and you try to knock the other player's marbles out. Wow, Okay. So Brother Jim taught you that. He did. He taught me that. And we just had so much fun. And then he said, he said to me, he says, do you want to play through fun or do you want to play through keeps? Oh, what's the difference? Well, if you play through fun, when you leave, you take your marbles with you. If you play through keeps, then you get to keep the marbles that you win. Oh, okay. I see. Yep. And Shirley said, Jim, you can't afford to lose any more marbles. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. But he said, I won't lose, but he did. And you know what? He didn't have there, there in any marbles to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> That's why there's so few green ones in there. Okay, I see. Wow. I <laughs> tell you what. That just, that's just almost mean. Well, it's just not mean as it happened, you know, I mean. <laughs> okay, all right. All right, well, you know, uh, some people in life, they, they try to play life for keeps, and they're trying to keep the things of this world. And, um, well, here's a picture of people playing marbles there. But um, Jesus summoned the crowd along with his disciples and had them gather around. And he said to them, if you, only want, if you truly want to follow me, you should at once completely disown your own life. And you must be willing to share my cross and experience it as your own as you continually surrender to my ways. For if you let your life go for my sake and for the sake of the gospel, you will continually experience true life. But if you choose to keep your life for yourself, you will forfeit what you try to keep. <sighs> yeah. For what use is it to gain all the wealth and power of this world with everything it could offer you at the cost of your own life? That doesn't sound like a very good trade. Nope, it doesn't, does it? And what could be more valuable to you than your own soul? So among the unfaithful and sinful people living today, if you are ashamed of me and my words, the Son of Man will also be ashamed of you when he makes his appearance with his holy messengers in the glorious splendor of his Father. So you see, we shouldn't try to hold on to this world too tightly. This world is temporary. We have an eternal home with Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, Jen, you want your marbles back? <laughs> well, he I needs think a few. <laughs> okay. I've been Woo! Doing that a long time. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, Brother Jim, would you pray and bless the children today? I have enough marbles. <laughs> Father, thank you so much for our wonderful children. We just ask you, please, to help us raise them in a proper manner and teach them to follow you every day of their life. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs>